Nope. What all do you want from me? ARs and them two, two, threes. Fucking around with me, you see I'm hot on 500 degrees. Heard he caught a body, but that does not mean shit to me. Got two on me, got two on me. Blood gang, yes, who on me? What is up, guys? Y'all, it's your boy Rockstar Boy back for another video. You know what I mean today? Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Rockstar Boy back here in another video. What's up, guys? It's your boy Rockstar Boy back here in another video. You know what I mean? And today, I'm gonna do a little different video. You know what I mean? Let's see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work on one of my art pieces. If you follow me on Instagram or like Snapchat or Twitter, I, you know, do a little custom art like on like jeans, jean jackets, Air Force and stuff like that. That's what I'm trying to get into, really. Yeah, yeah. Don't mind the mess in the back, yo. Like. Anyway. Today I'm gonna show you like go through like you know the process of what how I do that and um what products I use all different types of stuff like that so man if you're watching this video right now man you already know what to do man you better leave a like comment subscribe us share this video you already know man hashtag 1k man yeah um so this is gonna be like a little different video okay so I'm gonna show you guys the products that I use regular black acrylic paint you know you can get this at Walmart. It's uh, probably like $2, dollars something like that. Just some like acrylic paint. And then basically another, you know, Robert brand acrylic paint for my paint. Now, I actually bought, I'm starting to buy this brand right here, which is an Angel, Angelus, I think that's how you pronounce it. But this stuff is like, it's so gas, bro. It's so far. Like, if you want to start painting and stuff, like, you should definitely buy this brand. It's a little more expensive, but it's worth it. And right here, this is like the acrylic finisher, which you I'll be using when I'm done actually painting on the uh, one paint jeans. So on the jeans, this is Too Soft, which is by Angelus Two. And um, what you do with this is basically you want to mix it with acrylic paint. So like when you want to mix it together, so when you put it on the surface, like jean jacket or something that it won't uh crack like so easily like it'll stay on there like after you wash and stuff like that oh this is another ton box but this is the this in this bottle is the white paint and the two soft mixed together already so i got that right already i got a black paint uh paint marker i might be using it i don't know if i'm gonna use it i'm just gonna just cut got these paint brushes right here and y'all hey that's all you need boy that's all you need. Yeah, don't mind the uh the little camera angle and all this other stuff, but and this is the best I can do. So this is what I'll be painting today right now. Um, you know, this is a yang yang sign. I had the reason why it looks like this is because I just paint it with just acrylic paint, like with no finisher, no uh with the two soft mix. Like this is what happens whenever you paint it on your jeans and you don't use like finisher or nothing like that. You see how it looks like this don't look right. It just looks like the paint's sealing off a little bit. You know, don't look good. Now, I'm about to restore this mug. Ain't my body looking clean, watch. I'm gonna get this thing right. Yes, sir. Trying to figure out how I'm gonna record this so y'all can see it. Okay, y'all, this angle might be a little weird, but this is the best I, I can do for y'all, bro. So, so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna open up my white paint. You see it's white. Right here, you see it's the white paint. But, like I said in the beginning, you wanna take your your white paint and your two salt. Mix them, mix these mugs together. You gonna get this, that's what you gonna get. So man, don't do, don't do what I just did, bro. Like don't, you see I got all that, all that stuff on my paint, don't do that, bro, you don't wanna do that. Yeah, bro, you just wanna go slow. Make sure you don't mess up nothing, man. Just take your time with this. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, when you mix the two soft and the white together, it's gonna make your your paint thin. So you gonna have to. That means you gonna have to put in more than one layer on. So I advise you to at least put on like about probably three layers, and then um, yeah, three layers should be good. But I don't know with this one. I might only have to do two. We're going to save it, okay? Because I already got that. It's already painted a little bit. We're going to do two, bro. And when you paint it with this paint, you want to um, put on thin, like, even layers. So I'm putting no thick layers on or nothing. Like, 
hood, it's gonna mess it up. Your stuff not gonna look how you wanna look. So you gotta make sure you spray them up, spray them all out. So you know you get them thin layers on there. Remember I said, take your time, bro. Take your time. If you mess up, it's alright, bro. Nobody's perfect. You know I'm talking. Okay, so yeah, I lied. I actually didn't use my blow dryer. So, um, yeah, I'm going on the second coat right now. We gonna go for the second coat for the white. Once you like let it dry, use your blow dryer, your heat dryer, whatever the head dryer you, you got. You might as well put your second coat on. Why put your second coat on? Yeah. Yeah. You wanna take your black paint? Drop in there, man. It's a little drop. You wanna take your two saw, bro. This is this is what you need. The two saw, your two saw, fabric medium. You open this up. Put a little bit of that in there. Let's get it right there. Let's get it right there. That's good. That's all you need, okay? That's all you need. <laughs> there it is, boy. You got your black. Figure out what's going in with your black, you know, man. Going on with your black. And basically, just do what you did before, man. Let's go. I'm gonna pipe down too close to this one, too. Get the edges and these corners. I might go, I'm gonna use, matter of fact, I'm gonna use a little brush for that, bro. I got a little brush for that. Okay, so now that you you got it how you want it, it's all dry, you know, you, it's perfect, you like it, you want to take your acrylic finish, this is the most important thing, bro, because this is what seals all the paint in, so make sure you take this, and I'll probably do two, two coats of this on there. Okay, so I don't got no storage for real, so I already went ahead and um, did two coats on the black, so right now I'm going to do, I'm going to go around the edges, you know, just fix some stuff, and you see this little, this little white right here, I'm going to get that going, I'm going to do that, so... Two coats, put your black on there. Once I get done, I'm gonna show you what to do next. So when you find this uh, finisher, make sure you do do the white side first and then do the black side first. You don't wanna like do them like brush over like that because it's gonna mess it up. So just do it like that. Put on the two coats, man. And that's how you feel. Like this. Yeah. Like this, I'm hoping to do them so yeah, man. And that's it for you, man. So, yeah, like.